Bastille vs. the Evil Librarians Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians, Book 6, by Brandon Sanderson, is the conclusion to the humorous and fantastical Alcatraz Smedri series. While the previous books were written from the perspective of Alcatraz Smedri, this book is told from Bastille's point of view, a knight of Crystallia who has previously been tasked with protecting Alcatraz. The switch in narration offers insights into Bastille's character, her inner thoughts, and motivations, which had previously been a mystery. The series is set in a world where there exists a secret continent called the Free Kingdoms, hidden from the rest of Earth, known as the Hushlands, by the evil librarians. The librarians manipulate information and suppress magical talents to maintain control. In the Hushlands, technology functions normally, but in the Free Kingdoms, individuals have magical talents based on their last names, with the Smedri family having particularly quirky but powerful abilities. The narrative often breaks the fourth wall, with the characters being aware that they are in a book and making comments to the reader. In the sixth book, Bastille is facing the consequences of having failed in her duty to protect her charge Alcatraz, leading to her being stripped of her title and rank as a knight. However, despite this setback, Bastille remains determined to fight against the evil librarians. She uncovers a sinister plot by the librarians who are closing in on the free kingdoms, aiming to conquer them once and for all using powerful dark oculator lenses. To thwart the encroaching darkness, Bastille must navigate internal politics within her own kingdom and address the fractured relationships between various factions. The situation becomes dire when Alcatraz and his quirky family, each with their own peculiar talent, are scattered and must be found and reunited to stand a chance against the librarian forces. As Bastille journeys to find her allies, she comes to terms with her personal regrets and finds strength in friendships and the knowledge that her worth isn't solely defined by her knightly status. Key characters reprise their roles and face their individual challenges. Alcatraz, despite being less central in the narrative, still significantly impacts the plot with his ability to break things, including sometimes intangible concepts like time. Kaz, who can speak in gibberish and sing with her talent for tripping, bring humor and unique skills to the team's efforts. Throughout her quest, Bastille encounters dragons, discovers new magical lenses, and faces the complicated feelings she has for Alcatraz. With the fate of the Free Kingdoms hanging in the balance, Bastille is forced to push beyond her limits, accept the assistance of her friends, and confront the idea that vulnerability can also be a form of strength. The novel builds toward a climactic battle as the heroes muster a defense against the librarian's forces. Bastille steps into a leadership role, using her training and newfound resolve to unite disparate groups against the common threat. Complex strategies and magical battles ensue, showcasing the character's cunning and the unique magic system of the series. One notable aspect of the book is the growth experienced by Bastille as she grapples with her identity outside the constructs of what it means to be a knight of Crystallia. Her development is illustrated by her reflections on the past, her fear of failing Alcatraz again, and her ultimate decision to embrace who she is, whether or not she holds a title. The dueling themes of information control and truth-seeking persist in this installment, as the characters uncover lies spread by the librarians and attempt to spread the truth to the Hushlands. The information war becomes as crucial as the physical skirmishes, demonstrating the power of knowledge and the importance of access to information. The resolution of the story brings personal closure for Bastille and a shift in the larger political landscape of the Free Kingdoms. The final showdown against the librarians tests the resolve of the heroes and the strength of their newly formed alliances. Bastille not only has to reconcile the parts of her knightly honor with the more flexible, unexpected approaches of her friends, but she must also step into her own capacity for strategic thinking and leadership. As with the other books in the series, Bastille vs. the Evil Library, Alcatraz vs. the Evil Librarians, Book 6, is a nod to the genre of fantasy while simultaneously poking fun at its conventions. Its humor, combined with action and character development, provides a satisfying conclusion to the series. Bastille's story comes full circle, finding redemption and reaffirming her commitment to fight for the freedom of the free kingdoms, 
even without the label of a knight. Overall, their final struggle involves facing off against the most formidable librarian foes, including the Dark Oculator, and saving the world from the suppression and control wielded by the librarian forces. The themes of identity, courage, and the importance of standing up for the truth permeate the narrative. As the story concludes, Sanderson adeptly ties up the loose ends and character arcs that have developed throughout the series. Bastille's narrative voice and her interactions with readers, along with the signature breaking of the fourth wall, offer a unique and familiar charm that fans of the series have come to appreciate. The conclusion offers both victory and sacrifice, and most importantly, it gives each character a sense of growth and a place in the world they fought so hard to defend. The balance of lighthearted moments with serious introspection allows for a narrative that is both entertaining and heartfelt. Bastille's story ends with her understanding that heroism comes in many forms and recognizing her own value regardless of title as she continues to fight alongside Alcatraz and the Smedry family for the Free Kingdoms and against the tyranny of the evil librarians. With themes of empowerment, the significance of knowledge, and the strength found in unity, Bastille vs. the Evil Librarians delivers a powerful message wrapped in an adventurous and comedic tale. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.